Sarah Hagan. Thanks for watching News 12 Connecticut. State police say they found the body of a missing Woodbridge boater early this morning. Officials say a person in a canoe saw something under the water in Lake Housatonic in Oxford and called 911. They say an emergency dive team searched the water and found Richard Fisk, who had been reported missing on Monday. Any basketball at all? Lots of basketball, yeah. Lots, lots of basketball. basketball. Huh? I'm just watching this. We're sitting here. What are we doing sitting at this desk? Come on. Let's get out get there. Get out there. <laughs> Bridgeport police say an overnight shooting left one teenager dead and two others recovering from gunshot wounds. Officers say they are still searching for the suspects this evening. Hello, I'm Sarah Hagan. Thanks for watching News 12 Connecticut. Witnesses told police a group of people were walking down the street when they were approached by two men who opened fire on them. Good day for football. On the field, off the field, good day all around. Oh, wasn't it? Yeah, good stuff. Really nice. Let's see what the weather looks like, too, going forward. Minor accident gets worse when someone rear ends a state police vehicle. News 12 Connecticut was at the scene shortly after the second accident. Police were responding to a minor two car accident just before 3 a.m. It happened near exit 46 on the Merritt Parkway northbound. A short time later, another car collided with the trooper's vehicle. Hello, I'm Sarah Hagan, and here's what's making news around southwestern Connecticut. Norwalk police Aww. issued two tickets after a man was hit by a car early Saturday, one to the driver and one to the victim. Officers ticketed 23-year-old Joe Young, who they say wasn't in the crosswalk when he was struck by the vehicle outside Club 77 on Washington Street. He wasn't seriously hurt. Police also cited the driver for not having a valid registration. And a pedestrian is hit while crossing what residents call a dangerous intersection in one local community. It's a story you'll see only on News 12 Connecticut.